you know, the one bizarre habit I have is, you know, rather than pacing, like when things get really tight, I just start like gravitating towards the TV, like an insect towards light. And so like, <laughs> and we got a big screen TV and I'm like, you know, like 18 inches away from the screen or something. So uh, that, that's my strange habit. But, uh, you know, I, I try to stay back and stay calm as, as long as I can. I don't do it as much anymore, but whenever it got to a critical point in the game, and it was a game that I was uh, interested in for one reason or another, I would slow mow it. So I would actually <laughs> slow, like when a pitcher released the ball, I would slow mow it. So it would come into the hitter, like slow mo. So then you have the anxiety of, oh, that's going to catch too much of the strike zone. Then the bat comes through the zone. You're like, oh, it looks like it might be a little too low. Oh, it's foul ball. Oh, thank goodness. And I would do that for an entire inning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will say this is going to sound so bizarre, but I think you guys will relate. I actually maybe five, ten years ago, had an epiphany that, you know, the way I'm watching the game or holding my drink or leaning on the couch really has no outcome, no effect on the <laughs> yeah. outcome of the game. Like, which, like, butt cheek I have more weight on, like, <laughs> not to transfer it while things are going well. So that's actually made it a lot more tolerable watching games, yeah. not to feel like I have to stay in the same position that I'm in. Well, yeah, just like letting go and saying, I have no, I have no ability to influence the outcome of this game by the position that I'm in. Uh, yeah. that, that's, uh, that's relieved a lot of stress. 